Let's set up your Bose Ultra open earbuds. First, let me point out, of course, the case. It has USB-C. This is the button that will help with factory restoring, pairing, everything of the sort. Here is the actual light for the case, which will show you status. Here are the lights for the, each individual earbuds, which will show you the status and battery life. Now, this is what is, is referred to as the barrel. Here is the actual button. So these are the actual speakers and microphones that you will use to listen to music and of course use them for phone calls. These will be the charging ports and they're very important, which will dictate basically that they're charged. So when you put them on, make sure to just move your head around just to make sure that it is secure. Make sure that the speaker rests inside your actual ear. This should be at a 45 degree angle. So even if you have earrings, you can quickly adjust it and you shouldn't see any issues. Next, I would recommend the Bose app, which allows you to fully use the earbud and manage everything from your smartphone or tablet. And with it, you can use Bluetooth to personalize settings, change your audio, or you can pick your voice assistance language. So to power on, open the charging case and it will turn on automatically. The earbud lights will basically show you how much they are charged. Also, when you're putting it back in to power off, it'll give you like a little battery like percentage. If for any reason one of your earbuds just isn't charging or isn't working, make sure you put it back in and see that it's actually hit the pin. With any earbud, sometimes they might actually be loose and so you end up not charging it. So check that out first for any problems. These also have automatic volume, which is by default, and you'll need the app to use it. So the option is to turn it on. You can also turn it on within the settings, auto volume, and it will adjust based on your surrounding level. So if auto volume actively makes your music louder because it's noisy, manually turning it down might not work if, unless you set the, your normal volume level higher. So the easiest way to lower the volume quickly is to turn off the auto volume within the app. Oh, actually wrong one, boom, and turn it off. It's gonna be hard to put them in and take them out first, but here, the little charging pin, make sure that it matches and this glossy part is facing out and the buttons are up, so buttons up, glossy part facing out, and of course the chargers pens are there. You can control your music and calls with a few taps. For music, press either earbud once to play, double press to skip a track, triple press to go back. To change the volume, you want to double press and hold the right earbud to make it louder. And do the same for the left to make it quieter. When a call comes, press either earbud once to answer or double press to hang up or reject the call. If you want to get a second call, a single press answers it and putting the first one on a hold while, while a double press rejects it so you can stay on your current call. So there are these cool things called shortcuts, which basically they act as a quick way to control your earbuds. They let you switch sound modes, reconnect to a device, or use your phone's voice assistant. But by default, both earbuds are set to cycle through sound modes. So just press and hold one of the earbud buttons to use a shortcut. Now, if you want to change or turn off a shortcut, then look for the shortcut option in your app settings. Now, you can actually set different shortcuts for each earbud. So for the left shortcut, you can cycle through certain modes, change immersive audio, switch devices and access your voice assistant. For the right, you can just do the same thing and choose what next you wanna do. If you set different shortcuts for each earbud, for example, press the right one or the left one, also, if you pop one earbud back in the case, you'll only be able to use a shortcut for the earbud that's in your ear. So there is something called immersive audio. Immersive audio from Bose allows you to customize your listening experience by offering three different settings. The motion setting makes the sound follow your head movements. The still setting gives a very focused sound, like almost like you're sitting in front of speakers, which is definitely great if you're sitting in one spot. And if you like the general classic earbud sound, but want to conserve your battery, you can just turn it off completely. So switching between these audio modes is pretty easy. As you see here, you can turn it off, you can choose still, and you can choose motion, and you can also do it directly or set up a quick shortcut to cycle through them without using the app. So the app allows you to fine tune the audio to fit your ears perfectly in this case, and that whatever feels good to you. Now, immersive audio pauses during phone calls, but will resume after you hang up. So then there's listening modes. So listening modes allow you to switch between preset audio settings based on your preferences and surroundings. 
By default, these modes include immersive audio options from Bose, but you can also choose between two pre-configured modes, stereo and immersion, and you can create your own new mode and name it whatever you want for whatever purpose you want. So the stereo mode basically plays audio in a Bose optimized stereo format and gives you a very classic listening experience. And any custom modes you create will fall under the personalized category. So with immersive audio settings, adjust accordingly to basically your preferences and switching between these modes is easy. Again, you can do it directly from your earbuds by pressing or holding on to the earbud, either button. A voice prompt will announce basically each mode and loop, and you can simply press the button when you hear the name for your preferred mode. You can also open up the app and tap the modes on the product screen. And if you want to, again, to customize the modes, you just go into the section, hit this plus sign, and you can create your own specific mode. Do you want motion? And you'll be have the ability to try a demo and then done. And there you go. And also you can set a shortcut to use your kind of voice settings for hands-free. Just go to shortcut. And if you want, you can choose your voice assistant that you'd like to use it for. And then whenever you're ready, just press the button and you can speak in whatever your request is and the mic should be able to pick it up. And also if you want to end your voice control, then just press the same button again. You can't wirelessly charge, but if you charge it into any USB-C, you should be able to see this pulsing orange light. And after you remove these from the case, you can also get a voice prompt that will tell you, hey, here's the battery level of the case. The app will also show you the actual battery level is right here. So you won't get caught flat footed. And then when you're charging the light, as well as when you remove the earbuds or put them back in, we'll let you know again, the battery level. So a full charge takes around an hour for the earbuds and three hours for the entire case, but you can get a 10 minute quick charge, which will give you two hours of use when the earbud battery is low. And once fully filled up, the earbuds can play for about seven and a half hours while the cases can store around 20 hours. You do get a little bit more battery life, so you don't have to worry, but just for you to know. Also, if you use immersive audio, it will slash your power by half. The earbud status lights are located actually inside the charging case next to each, of course, earbud. And like I said, they will basically let you know um, if they're using Bluetooth or the status of the battery level. And when the earbuds are ready to connect, the lights will slowly pulse. Once they're connected, the lights will start glowing blue for about five seconds. And if it's actually paired, the lights will blink white two times. Now, if the earbuds are fully charged, they glow solid white. And when they are charging, they slowly have a pulsing orange light. And if you're trying to reboot them and they're successful, then they will blink twice as well. If the case is charged, you'll basically know by the light, 90% to 30% generally you'll get solid white. When the charge is low, about 10 to 30%, it will glow orange for five seconds. And whenever the case needs to be charged, if you see it's like blinking, like then yeah, it definitely needs to be charged. So to connect the earbuds to like any device that we're using, just make sure that the charging case is open, that they're at least inside of it, and then press and hold the button on the back and until you'll start to see that it starts to go blue. Ultimately, you can also connect this to your Bluetooth menu doing the same process until you see the earbud lights start slowly pulsing blue, and then this will actually cause it to start pairing. Now, if you want to disconnect your earbuds from your device, just place them in the charging case here, and then it will be removed, as you can see here. If you want to reconnect them, then just take them out of the case and they should automatically reconnect. Now, if you want to clear the earbuds from the device list, then start by placing them in a charging case and then hold the button in the back for 15 seconds, as you can see here, boom. And then the earbuds will start flashing, go to your device list. Cleaning them is easy. Just use a cotton swab or nice soft rag. Make sure to clean the ports so there aren't any gunk on these so that way they will connect to the actual ports. Again, any soft dry cloth or a Q-tip will do. Don't use any water or ammonia or alcohol or any of those kind of things because they can corrode the metal charging points. And if you want to update your earbud, then just make sure it's synced to the app. And when the update is available, it will give you the instructions. Now for any issues that you have with the Bose Ultra Open Earbuds, just make sure the earbuds are actually in the case and it's actually closed. Make sure they're actually connected. You're seeing the lights that they're plugged in. It should have a nice magnetic satisfying click and use the actual lights to tell you what's going on. And if the earbuds won't turn on, 
make sure again that they're in the case. Use the lights to see what they're telling you. And if they've been in extreme cold or heat, put them back in room temperature for a while and see if that will work. Check the earbuds. And if you can't change the mode, the steps are the same as before. Make sure that they're in the case. Make sure to be open them to see what the lights are telling you. Look into your app to make sure that you set the actual shortcuts. Check the app to see if that's the case. Now, if you want to reboot your earbuds, pop them back into the case and leave them open and hold the case button for about 20 seconds. And you'll see the earbud light start blinking white. If you want to reset your earbuds to factory settings, forget them from your actual device. So I'm going to forget the device. All right, then inside the actual case, I leave the case open and hold the case's button in the back for about 20 seconds. And you're looking for the lights to blink twice. There you go. Now do this three times and you wait looking for two bright white flashes. There you go. Now the whole process is good. It's a little long, but they just blinked orange and that is literally the last part and it's fully factory restored. So I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions then let me know in the comment sections below. And also if you'd like to see my full review of these, click right here.